Hello all. All right. Rainy, cold, windy outside. We'll do the video inside. So what are we complaining about today? Well, of course, the U.S. Congress. They just gave a little bit of a budget to the Orange Administration here in the U.S. Both the D's and the R's gave it to them. Let's not make any mistake about it. Let's go over to the board and see what it is that we ended up with for 2020. So clean energy loses in the U.S. This is the biggest loss clean energy has probably ever had in the U.S. The federal spending package, and this is just part of the package, is $1.4 trillion for 2020. Now that's just a partial budget. Lawmakers decided not to extend federal tax breaks for solar and EV electric vehicles. No cuts to U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in 2020 planned at all. In fact, just the opposite. U.S. supported shoring up coal, gas, and oil instead. Loan guarantees for natural gas plastics industry in the Appalachians. U.S. Congress passed a measure that has no emission benefits at all. $175 million for Appalachian region. Coal miners will get $600 a month in their pocket. West Virginia gets $1.9 billion in loan guarantees for ethanol storage facilities. Now, I know that the orange man and the Democrats will say that they gave him loads of renewable energy money on ethanol storage. Ethanol is taking land, growing corn on it, taking that corn, which is part of the dirt, it's just turned into food, and then rotting it, turning it, in, part of it is turned into ethanol and the rest is chucked away. What a colossal waste that is. Ethanol is an absolute boondoggle. It does not work. It just takes land that could be used for food generation and turns it into partial energy for driving cars and vehicles to make them a little bit cleaner in the clean areas such as California, Oregon, and Washington State. They all require ethanol to keep the gasoline than it otherwise would be causing the air pollution to be a little less. That's all just BS. We know it. We know it's just more, right? Just just cover up your eyes so you see nothing. Be happy that the partial yearly budget is $104 trillion instead of others. Now that, of course, is going to uh, subsidize a space force. Now there's another boondoggle. Absolutely has no intrinsical value for the U.S. at all, or the world. Just a big bunch of waste of money for Congress's particular industries that they're pushing for to kill people. For over a trillion dollars we're going to spend to kill other people. So, I've been watching the CO2 go up and up and up, day after day. Let's go over and take a look at the CO2, and we'll see that it is now peaking again. Now, this could be something else, but there's an awful big peak this time. Who knows what this is from, but the CO2 count is going up ballistically. Okay, and just a little bit of politics. Uh, according to the Orange Administration, the Republicans are going to say here in the U.S. that the impeachment of Donald Trump never happened because Nancy Pelosi wouldn't send the articles of impeachment to the Senate for the trial. Now, the reason is because the Republicans say no witnesses, nothing, just a vote. Now, when is a trial that way? When are you not allowed to call witnesses in a trial? And this is a trial. This is a legal trial that the Republicans are trying to say isn't even going to happen. And the impeachment didn't even happen. Will the sheeple fall for the uh, brainwashing? 
year or two, yeah, there won't even be a mention of Donald Trump being impeached anywhere because the U.S. is really good at rewriting history. So, shorter video today, lots of good news. I appreciate all the ups, the downs, the new subscribers, and your comments are always excellent and welcome. And until next time. Thank you.